Too excited today. I, yeah, we had we actually spent some time together this weekend. Yeah, yeah. we had a great session. We this really weekend. did. I tell you, Tina Wilson, our strategist, kind of took us to uh, task and yes. coming out yes. with some good stuff, and it's all to benefit you. Indeed. Whew, so, but who are you? <laughs> I am Tracy Everett Duncan, the host of Mentor Me Memorable Moments. And who am I? You are William Craig the Third, right. my co-host. Fantastic, loyal, Excellent. always here, and I truly oh, appreciate that's that. That's what friends are for. Mm, yes, and yes, yes, but you know what? What William's going to be picking up a segment of his own very soon. Yeah, yeah, we're kind of excited about. A few that. weeks from now, uh, it's going to be called "Where There's a Will, There's a Way." Yes, mm. and what's that about? Ah. Uh, you got to tune in to see. Okay. All right. <laughs> so we're doing some adjusting here. You know, yeah. we're growing, but mm-hmm. it's all good and it's all to benefit you. You, each one of you, yes. no matter where you may be in the world, for instance, mm-hmm. South Africa, that's Jamaica, and Nigeria, and Romania. And the list oh, goes on. It does. On. It does. You know, you yes. can um, connect with us, you can tweet with us yes. at Mentor Me 411. Our website is www.mentorme411.com. Hopefully that's where you are right now watching yes. us. In, yes. in case you're not there, though, you can go there and connect with every one of the folks who represent all the five tenets yes. of great health. Yes. And the five tenets are mental health, spiritual Social health, financial, and physical Uh, health. I think we covered them all. Oh, yes, yes, yes. And there'll be times where we'll do some special programs that maybe not have anything to do with the tenants per se, but could very well be involved with the tenants. It's all connected. It is. It's all connected. So we said our hellos to everyone out there, and thanks for joining us again. We've got a jam-packed program. Fantastic show. Oh, my gosh. We're always over-delivering. Not enough time. That's the idea here. Yeah, not enough time. Again, the reason why you can connect with us um, Mm -hmm. through social media. But um, I also wanted to say um, congratulations to the breast cancer survivors because October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Mm -hmm. Yes. And so God bless you. You know, we are forever praying with you. We're forever standing with you. And where there are those runs, we are there with you as well. So God bless you. Yes, indeed. And, and, you know, our heart goes out because no one, no one knows what that's like uh, unless they go through it. I mean, that's just the reality. And and we could say, you know, all the wonderful things that we want to say, but you know what you're going through Mm -hmm. and each person is affected differently. But the other side of that is that your families, your friends are affected. And and those of us who have had friends and family who have contracted cancer, who are survivors uh, e- even in survival mode, uh, it takes a toll. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, we want to know, we want you to know that we're sensitive yes. to that fact. And, you know, as we pray, we, we lift you up yes. as well, your family, your friends, mm-hmm. uh, those that you, you care about. And, and mm-hmm. we're here for you. We are. We are. And we want to hear from you, too, as well. Both men and women Indeed. are affected by this. Indeed. 
And how apropos, mm-hmm. because today's uh, yes, spotlight is. is on health. Yes. And we're going to have the wonderful... Dr. Michelle's Dr. coming Michelle. back. Dr. Michelle. Yeah, we had that challenge to detox. Yeah, we, mm-hmm. yeah look, that's coming soon. Yes. So get ready. Yes. So we are going to be talking to Dr. Michelle tonight in our mental health um, tenant, and we're going to find out how to safely detox. Yes. So she yes. has a lot of information to give us. But now we had a lot of discussion last, last month time. on this subject. Mm-hmm. So we're going to just kind of give you a little image uh, to kind of wrap up that whole hour. Eric, if you could load that video, please, zero two. This is Are You Toxic? Everything we touch, breathe, you know, uh, drink, eat, sniff, it's, it's kind of toxic. We wow. have to be aware that it's possibly toxic. But let me say this, because mm-hmm. you know what? I'm going to turn this section over to you very quickly. Okay. That's because um, I had a little incident yesterday. Okay. A broken tooth. Oh, wow. And so That's exciting. I don't want the numbness to wear off. In the middle of yes. your speech. You know? May, maybe we should. That would make for interesting. <laughs> I don't want to do that. I may lose it in the middle of discussion. (laughs) So William's going to recap last month. A truly memorable moment. (laughs) But uh, let's let's just recap here. You saw in the video the woman is at home. She's bringing home her groceries, the things that she's bought at the store. And as she unpacks them, you see the caption that says toxic. And some of you might have been very surprised at some of the things you saw that are classified as toxic. Because there are things, as Tracy just mentioned, that we're not only using throughout the house, but they're actually things that we're eating, things that we're touching. And to recap, we talked about something called sodium nitro triosity. Oh, Eric, you can put the slide up, please. And we find, uh, we find that in laundry detergents. Going to the next one. Uh, we find that in, uh, la- there we are, laundry detergents, and the National Cancer Institute said that this is a known carcinogen, which is mm. a big word that yes. means it's something that causes cancer. Yes. I mean, not something that may cause cancer, something that causes cancer. So, in other words, it's, not a, it's really not an issue of if it's going to happen, it's when it's going to happen mm-hmm. to you. The next thing we talked about was phenol. Uh, you see where you find it, and Mosby's Medical Dictionary says as a highly poisonous liquid and uh, uh, vapor form. But the bottom line is it's neurotoxin. So what does that mean if it's a neurotoxin? It means it affects the brain and the central nervous system. So we wonder why folks get the shakes. Mm-hmm. You know, We wonder why we can't remember things. Mm-hmm. Let's go to the next, yes. the next cell here. Uh, and the, I'm sorry, the next uh, slide. Uh, this one was very interesting because the Cresol we found in mouthwashes, dandruff shampoos, air fresheners. Mm-hmm. So while we're cleaning our air, we're actually harming our bodies. And when I say harm here, you see what it says, potentially lethal, can be absorbed through the skin, cause circulatory collapse, cause blindness, muscle weakness, dizziness, headaches, mm. mental confusion. So just think about it. That's just one ingredient mixed with all these other things. So it's no wonder that our population is getting sicker by the day. Mm -hmm. Then the infamous formaldehyde. 
You probably know what we use that for, right? <laughs> yeah, we use it for shampoos. We use it in carpet cleaners. We use it in mold and mildew cleaners, and disinfectants, et cetera, et cetera. You see the list there. But what's the other thing that we use it for? Dum, da, dum, dum. <laughs> dead people. We put formaldehyde yes. in dead people to keep their bodies, quote unquote, fresh until we can bury them. Mm -hmm. Well, just think about that. And, and what I'm hearing here is that our dead people are not decomposing as quickly as they used to. Why? Because they're already pickled, so to speak, when they get to the funeral homes. Why? Because the formaldehyde that are in your shampoos, in your everyday household, uh, household mm -hmm. uh, products are already in their bodies. Isn't that amazing? Yes. So let's go to the next slide here. And then we've got the, the nitrobenzene, which you can find up to two weeks after you use it. So you, you folks out there that think you're doing such a wonderful job going through your house every week and you're cleaning, you're, you're spraying, you're dusting, et cetera, but guess what? You're leaving behind a residue that causes drowsiness, right. causes headaches. Have you noticed, uh, and I've noticed this, you go into a room, you feel fine, then you go into a certain room in your house, a certain place in your house, and all of a sudden you got a headache? Yes. Huh? Yeah. How about that? Maybe there's something in that room that's causing it. It's not necessarily just that you know there's something going on inside of you. There may be something that is a trigger that's causing this vomiting, convulsions, mm -hmm. etc. Mm -hmm. All of these things are are. I mean, it's just fa fascinating that they're allowed in the marketplace. And to, to me, it seems that if we can go to the moon, if we can go to, you know, Saturn and, and, and look at the rings of Saturn, if we could go to Mercury, Mars and Jupiter and all these other places, if we could disqualify Pluto as a planet, it would seem that there's something natural within the environment that we can use to substitute for all of these harmful chemicals. I agree. Yes. All righty. I'm going to get off my quote unquote soapbox. <laughs> go ahead, Eric. Let's, let's see the next one. And so here we go, the chemical effects. And I found this very interesting. Asthma was not mm -hmm. a huge problem in the United States in, in days gone by. But now there are approximately two, almost three million children under the age of 18 that suffer mm -hmm. with asthma. Mm -hmm. Hmm, why do you think that is? Right. Millions of families suffering with this ADD. And, yes. and we make jokes about it. But we didn't have these problems right. back in the day. Alzheimer's, we didn't have these problems. Mm -hmm. I mean, when you look at the number of senior citizens uh, who have dementia that develops into Alzheimer's, mm -hmm. we didn't have that back in the day. 85%, mm -hmm. whoa, almost 100% of all cancers that we have in our body systems readily affected by our environment. Right. Lupus. I mean, that's another one that's near and dear to my heart. I, I have relatives that you know, have been diagnosed with this lupus. All of a sudden, these young ladies, you know, in their 20s, 30s, this, this mysterious lupus mm -hmm. that's causing all kinds of nerve damage and, 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 and people are unfortunately dying before their time. What, what, is, this, what, what is this coming from? Chronic fatigue syndrome. Are you tired, listless? You know, and then if you go to take, uh, here we go, the poisons called, we call drugs or medicine, then now you've got side effects <laughs> that, mm -hmm. that you can't live with. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, there at the bottom, the bottom third, you see it says comatose children suffering from indigestion of a household cleaner. Uh, you can administer the syrup, um, the Epicac to endure vomiting, uh, but you have the esophagus burns uh, mm -hmm. that can take place because you know the stuff is coming back up through the system and so the the quote unquote the help is making it worse mm -hmm. to some degree and that's pretty much where we we are we today, ended up yeah we had a lot of information that detailed where these toxins come from these uh, chemicals how where they were birthed so if you take a look at our website mentorme411.com and go to the archives you will find the videos that um, will address this that we 
first discuss. Yeah. But um, very I, serious. Yeah, it it really is because um, again, you know, we don't know if the labels on the products are correct. So correct. if we induce vomiting with milk, is that going to um, harm the child more? Right. Or should we use water? We don't right. know. Should we not induce vomiting should at all? Should we not induce? Um, that is true. But um, I wanted to get into the body, or rather the t- detoxification. Now, yeah, we understand that detoxing the body is not a question anymore. We have to we do this. We need to do this regularly. Yes, regularly. So let's take a look at the slide. Um, this says body detoxification is both a short-term and long-term process. Um, so it's the next slide, Eric. And in the short term, we periodically implement a healthy detox diet or juice fast to help flush toxins that have accumulated in the body. And long term, we make lifestyle changes Mm. so that those toxins are constantly being rid from the body. When you ask, um, well, how do you get rid of the toxins from the body? How do you prepare yourself to do that? Well, at the lower part of this slide, it says you eliminate coffee. Mm -hmm. That's number one. Yeah, that's going to be interesting because there is a Mm -hmm. major coffee direct marketing company out there now that has some ingredients within that coffee that, that are healing. Right. So what kind of coffee do we get rid of? Um, we have to get more exercise, do more deep breathing exercises in the morning and eat more vegetables and fruits. And it's interesting mm-hmm. that, you know, the way we eat our meal may be unhealthy for us. We're True. eating the larger portion of the meal first and then the desserts or the fruits afterwards. Well, the larger portion is taking its time decomposing within the body while the fresh fruit is sitting there waiting to decompose. Mm. It's just getting worse and worse. And then our eating habits from the start of the day. Yes. Because the the bigger meal should be towards the start of the day, Mm -hmm. and then we decrease the size of the meals as we go throughout the day. Correct. But most of us don't do that. Correct. Some of us don't even eat early in the day at all. Well, hello. Uh Oh, (laughs) You say amen or say ouch. (laughs) The next slide, please. (laughs) There are three essential components of a detox. So the first one is to give your digestive system a break. And you want to do this by um, buying products that will be easily um, digested. Mm -hmm. And indigestion from overeating or gastrointestinal condition can cause purification and an overabundance of toxic waste in the systems, in the colon, in the kidneys, in the liver, in the skin, in the blood. Mm -hmm. All the areas that these chemicals enter into Mm -hmm. and begin to affect. Mm -hmm. Okay, the next slide says that um, we can also um, eliminate or um, have these components of detox by encouraging elimination. I love the way that's said. (laughs) Encourage (laughs) elimination. (laughs) We'll find out what that really means. (laughs) Well, with that, the kidneys, colon, lungs, and skin are organs that are primarily involved with elimination. So each of these organ systems can be gently stimulated and supported before and during after a body detox program. Mm -hmm. So with the kidneys, we want to drink a lot of water, three to four quarters. Um, Quarts. uh, Quarters. Mm. That's all right. Yeah, it's the pain. You know, it's coming back. Uh (laughs) Okay. And with the liver, we want to drink juice. And what they recommend is that a half a lemon juice in the morning um, with hot water mm. begins to start rinsing and detoxing really? the body. I did not I know, didn't know that. that either. And Dr. Michelle's going to confirm that for us. Wow. We're also looking at the next slide mm-hmm. um, in encouraging elimination that, you know, with the colon, we want to drink col- um, colonic and water uh, enema to help eliminate as well. I've never heard of that. Mm. There are herbal laxatives I've heard of. There are over-the-counter lax- laxatives. Now, those are harsh on the system. They I can be, yeah. yeah. I, that's yeah. not something I want to use at all. Wow. But we also look at the lungs, and with the deep breathing, I want to know more about this. Yeah, I want to know more about that enema thing. Uh, that, that and you would. That, yeah, uh, we don't want to okay. talk about that in I'd, detail. Hello. 
<laughs> you schedule an appointment with Dr. Michelle. Okay, that is your thing. Yeah, no, that's just it. I don't, anyway, go okay, ahead. Okay, all Lungs. right. But we're looking at, now we're down to skin now. Oh, Daily yes. bathing and refraining from heavy lotions and hmm. using a dry brush on your skin just hmm. before you jump into the shower does something refreshing to it. And when I met with Dr. Michelle, she talked to me about that. I tried it and, oh my gosh, really? it's invigorating. Yes. Really? Mm -hmm. And you can feel your skin tightening. You really? Know? Oh, yes. Wow. And uh, the next slide says to detox your diet. You know, start um, by getting ready, rid of the fast foods, the junk foods, the sugary drinks and snacks and artificially sweetened um, sugars and processed foods, fried foods and refined uh, flour. Mmm. Got to get rid of it. Yep, got to get rid of it. Got to get rid of it. But you know, um, to get started or to begin with the detox, um, you got to start with your vegetables, your fruits, and your whole grains. And if you're going to buy other types of foods and you want to read the labels first and determine if indeed they are fresh, whole um, fruits and not just something that they labeled that way. So if we go to the next slide. It says something very important there. It says read labels. Yes. Read labels. That's really important mm -hmm. because you, you mentioned a little while ago that sometimes the label aren't the labels aren't correct. Right. But if you don't read the labels at all, you you won't even have a clue. Right. Right. And we're going to teach them how to read the labels, what all to look right. for as well. So when we go to the next slide, use a gentle cleanse. Um, toxins are stored very deep within our system, mm. and uh, we, it, they've got to be flushed out. You right. know, And from what Dr. Michelle says, your body feels so much lighter when you have a nice cleanse. Mm -hmm. And so um, you've got to cleanse. You can use a lemon to detox as well. Um, but the next slide, we need you to be aware of side effects should you decide to do this. So the next slide says be aware of side effects but support um, the side effects as well. And you can do this by paying attention to yourself. Do you have a headache, mm -hmm. withdrawals or cravings, or are you irritable? Are there rashes that are coming up? Um, I don't think we have the correct slide up. We're looking for the one that says be aware of are. side effects. Okay. So if you're having these side effects, then you want to increase your water intake, you know, and also you want to rest a lot. Oh, well. You, yeah, you do. You want to rest. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's hard for us to rest and relax. Oh, I mean, we're going in the a.m.s in the mornings. Mm -hmm. But um, if you look at the lower part of this slide, it says that um, detox therapies are good. Uh, light exercises and saunas for sweating, fresh air, and funny movies and friends to keep your spirits up. So I, we're going to talk a little bit more with Dr. Michelle about that. Absolutely. We have so much that we yeah. are going to talk about. We're not going to prolong this any longer. Yeah. We're going to take a quick break, and when we come back, Dr. Michelle will be with us, yes. and we're going to ask her all kinds to. of questions. So okay. we've got this video, and I thought it was very appropriate for Dr. Michelle. All right. Yes, I'm sure Can't she is to a see fan. <laughs> we have Yanni live at Acropolis, oh, yeah. and I love this duel of the stringed instruments. Okay. Okay. So if we could play that, please.
Wonderful. Yes, indeed. I loved it. I'm loved excited. It. <laughs> How about that? I tell you, I just love to see that duel going yes, on. Indeed. Mm. You know, that's one of the nice things about this show is we bring you such a, uh, a variety of music that's inspirational. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, psh, that was just, as they would say, off the chain. Mm -hmm. yeah, I think we're going to see more of the string type of instruments this month of October. Okay. We did the hip hop. That. We did the go-go. Oh, yeah, go-go will be back too. Okay. Yes, okay. yes. All right. Well, welcome. Look who's here. <laughs> There's a doctor, doctor in, in the, the house. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Yes, indeed. You're looking fabulous. <laughs> yeah. Still um, honey mooning. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. yes. Okay. All right. Congrats. Always on the honeymoon. Oh, oh my goodness. See? It's a natural. Oh, oh she my has goodness. some great See. ideas for upcoming programs and intimacy okay. and relationships. Okay. And, oh, yeah. It was getting hot too. on getting the phone. <laughs> Well, Dr. Right. Michelle, you know what? Um, we were talking about the, the detoxing, and, and we were recapping last month's discussion, and you gave us a fantastic um, awareness of detox. Mm -hmm. I'm going to wrap up with two more slides, and I'm going to turn this over to you if you don't mind. Okay. Um, Eric, if you could put up the slide that says maintain the balance of prevention and cleansing. You know, we're learning about how important detoxing is, but this isn't a one-time thing. Right. This is something that we have to do monthly. Mm. Um, weekly, uh, it just depends on And some on things the daily, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. And Definitely. you're going to talk yes. about that. Yes. So we want to make sure that we have in our long-term goals that we are going to do gentle detox cleanses so that when we get to the Dr. Michelle's, mm -hmm. um, we aren't so plugged and stuffed that it's just okay. a long process. <laughs> Did I say that right? Yeah, that was mm -hmm. nice. Okay, yeah. thank you. I'm you trying to learn right. there. Okay, and then we're also going to look at the last slide for our section that has to deal with different areas of, to focus on um, when you're considering detoxing. And as you can see, um, detox, there are different types there's a total body body there's a colon the liver and the lungs but then we also have a cleanse and I want to know the difference between mm. the detox and the cleanse which is the digestive digestion the lymph and the weight loss but m the period of detox that has the assistance is what's um, so near and dear to my heart because I'm, I own a drug testing right. services company. And so w it's difficult for clients to detox off of alcohol and nicotine medicine, which are the prescription or, um, over, um, medicines and the illegal drugs. Mm -hmm. You have to be very careful when you're detoxing off of that. So maybe Dr. Michelle can speak to that again. Okay. Um, thank you, Eric. Um, Dr. Michelle, we yes. said a lot. <laughs> yes, we yes, And so we're going to be quiet and listen to you. Okay, so we're talking about the benefits of detoxing, correct? Right. right. And, and how to properly detox. And, and how, to pro how to safely so, okay. detox. Okay. Yeah. Well, we know we have to remove the um, processed foods. Yes. We have to um, be careful of the GMOs. The, well, let's let's go. We processed food. Processed, processed food. What help the li the listeners understand just what is processed food? Artifacts. Processed foods are things that are in a package, okay. plain and simple. Okay. And they have packaged and freeze dried and put it into a package. Gotcha. Because you know, in that there's a chemical process. Yes. Ah. Right. Yes. So okay. there lies your chemicals. You got yeah. From yeah. Exactly. Your formaldehyde. Yes. So if it's not fresh, if it's in a box. Let it be the last thing that you go to, gotcha. mm -hmm. okay? Because mm -hmm. we want to start fresh, and then we mm -hmm. want to go to if we, we we can't afford fresh, then we want to go to um, frozen, okay? And then the okay. package, great, okay. Okay. thank you. So that's you. the order, and so then of course you know the pesticides and latent pesticide laden foods, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay? Those things in our crops because yes. our crops are just filled with all these chemicals, yes. Wow. Okay, so and then of course the the um the products mm -hmm. and we saw that okay. on the film where right. everything that she um brought out of the bag right. you know mm -hmm. including the product uh, including the um, fruits and vegetables and things like that it was the household products mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so we really want to um and we don't want to negate the personal hygiene as well oh right oh, we talked not. about that with the yes. toothpaste and the, and the deodorants I know. Yes. isn't that amazing so in saying wow. that the major organs that we are detoxing are the lymphatic um, system, the colon, the um, the kidney, the liver, and the skin. Mm. And we mm. didn't mention skin no, as didn't. much, no. mm -hmm. but the skin is considered the third kidney. 
Wow. wow. Yeah, it's, it's considered the third kidney. Wow. So um, we want to make sure that we detoxify those major organs. Now, I, I took a list. When you asked me to um, find out what were the safe uh, ways to detox mm -hmm. the body, I sat down and I said, okay, Michelle, let's – what are they? And I, I literally took a list. So I'm going to be reading from my piece of paper if it's all right with the Oh, with you that's guys not the a audience. problem. You had also some <laughs> slides. Did you want us to put those up? Uh, yeah. But yeah, we can put the slides up if you like to. Okay. But I want to address these um, nine. Okay. There were nine different that nine different ways. So removing the um, processed foods was one of them. Okay. The other one was the dry brushing. Yay. And you have mentioned the dry yes. brushing. That's one of your favorites. The thing about the dry brushing is when you the the when you dry brush the skin, mm -hmm. it allows the body to detox on its own. Um, the hmm. skin is at least ten to fifteen percent um, of a body elimination. Mm. At least wow. ten to the fifteen skin. percent. The skin. It's the largest largest organ yeah. that we have. We live in it. So it will, when we brush it up towards the heart get and get all of that um, blood circulating, mm -hmm. it will start detoxifying the body. So you want to do that before you go into the shower. Okay. That's a very safe mm -hmm. way, and everybody can do that. Okay. You yeah. brought a brush here. You want to demonstrate that? I did bring that? a brush here. This is the brush. Just <laughs> any kind of and brush. This is a, well, this is a, this is a soft ball, um, mm -hmm. brittle brush. And what you do is you just take it and you just kind of sweep your body okay. ever so gently soft. towards the mm -hmm. heart. So and that is I, what gets your like uh -huh, this, just so like that. that. And then up, my and up and the up whole and up. Body. So you want to okay. start with the feet up, and then arms in, Ooh, everything okay. towards the heart, and that'll okay. get the circulation going. Okay. Okay. And the other one is of course exercising. Mm -hmm. You know, when we sweat, that has a tendency to release toxins. Uh, aerobics is very mm -hmm. good mm -hmm. because um, it promotes um, sweating, uh, it promotes blood circulation, mm -hmm. and then with aerobics, building up sweats, of course, again, you know, the muscles, getting the muscles heated up, which causes the body to start heating up and ultimately detoxing. Wow. So exercise is one. Didn't know that. Yeah, mm -hmm. and uh, let's see, you mentioned breathing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Deep breathing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we breathe in, but we breathe right. out. And the more we exhale, we release stress, we release toxins. So show us wow. how to do that. Okay, well, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so most people, when we breathe, we breathe from here, up mm -hmm. here. Okay. Okay, but we actually want to breathe from the lower body, from the diaphragm. The diaphragm. Mm -hmm. So in, mm -hmm. in, instead of breathing up here from the lungs, one of which we really don't get any air. Mm -hmm. And okay. we breathe that way all the time. Okay. okay, what we want to do is we want to breathe okay. from the diaphragm in. Put your hand Everyone your join us. Pull it in, mm -hmm. in from the diaphragm and release. Pull it in, pull it out. Bring it in, bring it out. Right, ah. and you and once you do that a couple of times, you'll and notice it, it, that you feel stuff. You know, yeah, you feel like yeah. It release. Yes. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. a stress reliever. Wow. And we all know that stress is, you know, very toxic. Yes, highly toxic. Yes. Mm -hmm. So. Yes. Deep breathing. Now, the other things, of course, we know in my office that all of you are going to come to eventually. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the infrared sauna. Mm. Mm. Yeah, that's very safe. The infrared sauna, that's a whole body detox. And mm -hmm. you mentioned um, the, the whole body. body yes. Yep. Wow. And what that does is, um, well, actually, and this is just a little sidebar, you can lose up to 10 pounds in the infrared sauna if you sauna for 30 minutes every single day. Wow. Is that good? For 30 minutes, it is good. Mm -hmm. It is because it, it releases um, environmental toxins okay. out of the body. So infrared mm -hmm. versus infrared. ultraviolet. Yeah, infrared versus ultraviolet. Right, right. Yeah, mm -hmm. because yeah. it causes you to sweat in a different kind of way. Mm -hmm. But the body still is releasing toxins, toxins. by way of mm -hmm. the stress. The infrared penetrates down like the sun. Right. It penetrates down into the skin about two or three layers down, which causes the skin to sweat. Mm -hmm. And since the body sweats, it releases toxins. Okay. Wow. Keep it very, very simple. So sweat mm -hmm. is good. Sweat is good. It's a tweetable sweat moment here. Sweat, sweat is good. good. <laughs> sweat is good. And the other one, um, if you can, in my office, we I also do ionic foot bath. 
Mm-hmm. Oh, help me with the that one. Audio, I, I love know. that. The yeah. Ayana foot bath is you love very it all. relaxing. Yeah, I do. Well, yeah, because you know, it's I'm very into relaxing. This. I'm missing out here. Right. And it's, you know, it's mind de-stressing mm-hmm. and all of that wonderful so, thing. So how does that... So you sweet. put your foot... We don't even have a picture of that, do we, Tracy? Yes, we do. Okay, do so we? we put you put your foot in a tub of water with this um, array, if oh, you let will. Me follow this. And the array, um, um, let me, t- um, Eric, if okay. you could um, take a look at the last, two, the la- the second to the last slide, mm-hmm. in Dr. Michelle's presentation. Okay. Uh, so the, the one before that. Right. Okay. The um, see see the lady oh, with okay. the, the tub okay to the right of the screen. Now what happens is, is the body is awesome. God made these bodies to know how to release the toxins and release all of that stuff out of our bodies. So by way of the feet, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. the body draws. I want to keep it very simple in layman's terms. Okay. Okay. So what happens is there is an array, there's a little small device behind the lady's feet that's okay. in the water that's in the tub. Okay. And it's an ionic array. Okay. And so what it does, it draws, oh, it draws, it draws toxins, the toxins out of the body out through the by, feet. Way, by way of the feet. Right. Mm-hmm. Years yeah. ago, I saw those like patches they had. That, but they didn't seem to really work that well. Oh, be gentle. <laughs> <laughs> be gentle. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Those and patches. I, uh-huh. <laughs> and, and this is and good because gonna, people need to know yes. that the science is good. It's just the application may be a little yes, off. Yes, it's yes. The application yeah. Because really quick, like, mm-hmm. why do I need to put something on the skin, which is the porous, most porous um, organ that we have, Mm -hmm. in the skin or on Mm -hmm. the skin to draw something Something out. out. Mm -hmm. Water Mm -hmm. (laughs) is God's one of his best, best, you know, element out there that's very wholesome. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the only thing that we're using here is water Water. to draw the toxins out of the body. Okay. Okay. And you can see the difference. With the help of an ionic array. That's it. (laughs) And I saw that, I saw that in person twice and mm-hmm. oh the coloration yeah it's of the awesome. water yeah that's most energy wow. that's all it is is energy mm-hmm. wow. you know so again we don't have to go really really deep mm-hmm. you know we don't need to use another chemical to gotcha. draw the chemical chemicals out, out. Oh, yes right, right. say Put that again that's a tweet yes that's a tweet we use with god the elements that god has already wow. given us mm-hmm. to wow. detox the body yes okay so and the other one that i do in my office is the hot stuff Oh, okay. okay. Can we have the picture? Oh, back? God, I think the, I hot have the hot stones. Oh, no, I don't. You have don't have it. the hot stones, mm, but that's okay. all right. That's all right. The hot stones are these Baltic stones, okay? Okay. And uh, we heat them up in water, mm-hmm. okay. okay? And uh, we take them and we do a sweetest massage with those stones. And what they do is they penetrate from the heat because they hold a lot of heat. Okay. And they go down into the muscles and they mm. release the toxins because of the wow. heat. Wow. It is awesome. Yeah. Wow. Absolutely yeah. wonderful. So, the, the heat so you is know the you purifying. come out of there so Ooh. relaxed. Wow. It's almost like a noodle effect mm. and, at, and at the same time allowing your muscles because of the heat to actually release toxins out of the body. It's amazing. Mm-hmm. Stones. See, yeah. that's a natural, all of God's natural, natural things, elements natural elements yes. that will yes. help the body to detox. When we give the body what it needs, it'll do what it's supposed to do. Mm-hmm. All right. Mm-hmm. And then, of course, we do have the. Let's see. Uh, da, da, da. Okay, so we do the hydrocolonic therapy. Oh yes. Do you want me to mention that? Yes. Well, the hydrocolonic therapy is a device. Do we have that? We don't uh, have that. No. But that's mm-hmm. okay. It's, it's it's a device, and it's a medical device, if you okay. will. And what happens there is water. Again. Mm -hmm. It's gallons Mm -hmm. of water being um, highly pressured into the, you can put the digestive system, into the digestive system. Um, Eric, can you put the digestive system up? So a lot of people are a little fearful of this. No need to fear because Mm -hmm. you mentioned the enema. Right. Mm-hmm. right. This is a glorified enema. A glorified, <laughs> glorified. Now, the enema. Never thought I'd hear that. Now term. let me do a sidebar before I go back onto the high, um the colonic oh, therapy. 
Eric, it's the one that uh, right looks after. like the colon. Mm -hmm. The green the background. The Emma William mm -hmm. is that, remember that red Thank water you. bag? Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Water bag? Yes. That, okay, the dush. Okay. 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 Yeah. Okay. Yes. okay. So that's the enema. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. And what happens is, and you can do this at home because CVS still sells the red, All the local red, yeah. hot water bag enema okay. at the drugstore. Okay. Oh, back okay. in the day. Back to basics. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It takes about four gallons of water oh, no. that you fill it up. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> purify water. Purify water. Warm. Temp it. And you stick it in the rectum ever so gently, yes. and the pressure from that that um, water bottle being up, mm -hmm. forcing that water through the tube into your uh, colonic, will help clean, will detoxify the low intestines, not the mm -hmm. high intestine, mm -hmm. okay. but the right. low intestines. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you can do that at home, and that is very safe. That's a private moment. Mm -hmm. okay. Definitely. Yes, yes. yes. Definitely. I would think so. so. You want to clear the house kind of private moment. You want to clear the house at that moment. Put <laughs> some nice soft music. <laughs> <laughs> you and your enema back and cleanse. Oh, okay. okay. Me and However, my so back, okay. back to the uh -huh. um, hydrocolonic therapy, this is a larger device Thank that, you, Eric. Is, that you are assisted um, with um, a, hydro, uh, um, a certified um, hydrocolonic therapist. Okay. Okay. And there's gallons of water, high pressure, mm -hmm. um, and you insert not the not the um, the specialist. It's technician, right? You insert that tube. You, the tube only go into the rectum, maybe about a third to an eighth into the rectum, and it okay. will cleanse. It will detox the entire digestive system. Really? It is absolutely that, wonderful. That piece of equipment. Absolutely wonderful. Whew. So. It is very amazing. I feel so like I gotta I'm shed gonna something this. just thinking so, about that. Yeah, because the benefit in that is that number one, because we all fill with so much toxin, and there are pockets into the digestive systems that um, that we can't really get into just by having a regular elimination. Okay. And the pressure of okay. the water goes into and, those mm -hmm. pockets. Mm -hmm. The pressure wow. goes into those pockets and soften the stool mm. so that you can eliminate, have mudslides, mm. and get rid of all the gas. Because most of wow. everything that you are experiencing in your body, right. that bloatedness, right. that's yes. gas. Yes. Yes. yes, that's all it is, is gas. And what would chase that out of there? Water. Water. Water wow. chases the gas Water. away. We don't want to tweak Water. that. Water <laughs> chases the gas away. You don't Water tweak that. that. And of wow. course, we do That's have amazing. supplements. It is. It is I'm loving amazing. this. Amazing. All of this. And of course, Man. you do have herbal supplements. Okay. Now, we did mention um, over counter drugs, yes. over counter laxatives. Well, the thing about that, we really want to be careful doing that. We don't okay. want to want to really do that. Okay. But if we have to do that, we want to be very careful because they can be very addictive. Mm -hmm. Oh, See, really? And we don't, oh yeah, they can be very addictive. Really? And you don't want to be, become addictive, oh, right? Wow. I'm and the colon will, the wow. colon will rely on it oh. to, um, you know, expand <laughs> wow, and do that's what amazing. it's supposed mm -hmm. to do. You know, you want to happen naturally. And water is very safe. Mm -hmm. okay. Water is very mm -hmm. safe. So um, that's my, those are my safe ways um, to detox the body. Mm -hmm. And you can guide us through all of these I in your guide, office. Oh my God, just and go to. Come and see you and mm -hmm. you can sit down with us. And, Hit me up and, on for, mentorme411.com. That's right. That's <laughs> right. You do an analysis because mm -hmm. everybody's needs are different. Right, mm -hmm. everybody, haha, uh -huh, absolutely, has everybody. different has different needs. Right? And yes. the thing about detoxing is that once you find out, once you get started detoxing, mm -hmm. then you'll see that a lot of symptoms that you are experiencing in okay. your body as it relates to, mm -hmm. they will seemingly start Just going disappear. away. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're a healthy. Tree. You're talking oh, about man. like ailments or stiffness in the joints and Absolutely. things like that. Headaches. 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 Pain. Pain. Just lethargic yes. feeling. Mm -hmm. all, of those, all of those. Lupus, mm -hmm. all of those. Everything that we mentioned today. Really? And more. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Absolutely. We, we got to get on Dr. Michelle's calendar. Yeah, we do. Yeah. yeah. And maybe even and do a, a, a video of some of the stuff, not all of it. Well, actually, we, we're, we are going to take a video in for next mm -hmm. month yeah. because if you, um, Eric, put up the slide, the last one in Dr. Michelle's presentation. I went to Dr. Michelle about a year ago. And uh, I had uh, a, 
oh gosh, what do you an assessment? An assessment. And, and you want to talk about the assessment? Uh, yeah, we can. Let me see. When you came in, um, no, she was just as beautiful as she was. I mean, there was nothing really going on with her. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but she, <laughs> it was some of the things that she told me that I, what? How'd you know that? The health assessment. <laughs> okay, so when you look at the screen there, you see the blue picture with to that, the left. To the left. Thank mm -hmm. you. Um, with the hand, that is a biofeedback, uh, biocommunication, new technology, Zyto. Yes. Okay. Z Y T O. That's mm -hmm. biocommunication. compass. It's mm -hmm. like the old um, lie detector. Mm -hmm. So what happens is this. So when we do a health assessment, because Tracy, we don't know, and well, we don't know what's going on with our bodies. Right. Mm -hmm. I mean, we have right. symptoms. Right. But we don't actually know what's going on Why? with our bodies. Right. Mm -hmm. And we won't know until we ask the body. Okay. Right. Okay. Right. So okay. what this device does is it allows us to ask the body. So between the hand cradle and the, com and the computer, it gathers information by way of galvanic mm -hmm. skin. So wow. when you put your hand on the, on the, um, the cradle, um, the computer, the mm -hmm. program in the computer asks the question. Now, I might say something like, Tracy, okay, so what are you coming in? What, how can I help you? What are you coming in for? And she might say, well, Dr. Michelle, I want to lose some weight. Okay. okay. So then we set the program for Tracy to lose weight. What is mm -hmm. it that Tracy needs? Gotcha. Tracy Tracy's needs body, mm -hmm. right. body needs to lose the weight. So the program will begin to ask, scan the body That's and amazing. ask the body it what is. it is. And it will spit out me and a, uh, um, a printout telling me, telling mm -hmm. us yes. what a very her body detailed needs. Not out. what everybody else right. needs. Not right. a, a, a protocol that one Shoe fits, fits all, all right. protocol. Mm -hmm. right. No, because everybody's body it's is different. doing mm -hmm. something different. Mm -hmm. It's wow. shaped differently. It's saying something differently. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. know, it's responding differently. Let me give some examples. Um, now, the, again, the, the printout is very detailed. So right. I'm sitting there, and I'm truly, you know, trying to understand what what, what? <laughs> uh, and so when she begins to ask me questions well Tracy did you have a um, some type of injury in your left um, leg I sat up wow. I said well yeah I fell during the summer and truly sprained that ankle was on crutches and I'm thinking well what else is she gonna tell me <laughs> she said okay now are, are, are you losing hair in your left eyebrow? I was like, well, how do you know that? Turn this thing off. How do you know, really? And the last thing that she asked me it was, you don't get out much, do you? I said, no, I go from the home to the garage, to, from the garage to the work, from right. the work to the garage. I mean, right. there is no right. sunshine in right. my life. And it's like, how do you know this? Wow. It's because of that bio that's reading. That's specific. Yes. yes. Oh, that's yes. amazing. It is you got to try this, folks. <laughs> I'm going to do it. You got to yes. do it. We need to understand what our bodies are telling us so that we can get help. It is true. <laughs> it is true. And you can go to MentorMe411.com, and I understand that you are moving or relocating your business as well as your website is under uh, an amazing design. Yes. <laughs> and yes. that should be launching later tonight, if not tomorrow. But you can find these um, different services that uh, Dr. Michelle offers on the website. But I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt you. You just <laughs> go, I, I just love the technology. That, that's I wonderful. Do. Yeah, so um, the Zyto is, is very effective. I love it. My clients love it. Um, it puts them right on point on where they are in their health. It gives um, them an opportunity, again, to identify where the problem is mm -hmm. um, in their body systems. Like Tracy wow. said, um, I knew right off the bat that she was having an issue in the skeletal system mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. so because we all we as we all know is most times when we're having problems after we determine where the problem comes from then we have to look at the body systems yes. because it's in the body systems that that um, spews off all these symptoms mm -hmm. okay so that's what the um, bio uh, communication and biofeedback does it okay. helps us to locate exactly where the problem lies in the body systems. Mm -hmm. You know, it gives me, gives us an opportunity 
to uh, safely um, recognize the products mm -hmm. that's needed for your, okay. right. for you, okay. for you right. only. And that's what I like about it too because you know, so often we go to the store and we stand in front of the, 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 the counter, you know, if you will, and we're wondering, what should I be taking? Right. Mm -hmm. Sure. And and it's, it's you don't know. Right. And yes. we stand there and reading. We well, I have hordes a reaction. Of money. Yes. yes. We spend yes. hordes of Experimenting money. Experimenting on ourselves. Ex mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Experimenting. Yeah. So going back to detox, even in this, mm -hmm. even in a bio um, communication, I can literally go into this, do an assessment, and it will tell me what type of detoxification mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. you need to Wonderful. have. And she has yeah. all types of products and yeah. services to help you with that, but also right. the information to do self gentle cleansing, mm -hmm. yeah. she can give you that consultation as well. So yeah. you know, Cause we, yeah, because some of this you got to do yourself. Yeah. Oh, to prepare, yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. yes. We yes. give you the tools, and of course, you have to go and you know apply it yourself. Now, I do want to mention we talked about our foods, our our fruits and our vegetables, juicing. Juice detoxing is good. Okay. Mm -hmm. However, be careful of the sugar contents. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Lemon juice is excellent because lemon is a cleansing agent. Okay. okay? In the herbal world. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's a cleansing agent. And it is good to do first thing in the morning. So is mm -hmm. um, vinegar. Um, okay. And that's a brand I remember vinegar. that. Brand right. yes. apple cider vinegar. Yes. Garlic is good. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those yes. things. Chlorophyll is even better because it detox and cleanses really? the bile. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. Absolutely. So those things are, are very mm -hmm. safe. You can use cayenne pepper. And actually, the things that I just mentioned, you can actually put that together. Right in a warm glass mm -hmm. and do that for a couple of days, maybe seven days, mm -hmm. and get a, a, a cleanse that way. It's called a liver kidney flush, but okay. be very careful. You can add a little teeny weeny pinch of um, cayenne pepper, just a little bit. Okay. However, if you have a high blood pressure, don't use it at all. Okay, okay. well on that note. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to talk to Dr. Wow. Michelle again next month. And <laughs> actually, her, her segment is changing. Uh, instead of the first of every month, she's going to be joining us the second of every month. Mm -hmm. And William Craig the third, Second Sunday, right? Yes, the second Sunday of every mm -hmm. month. And William Craig the third will be joining us in his per, um, own segment the first Sunday of every, every month. month. Where there's yes. a will. There's a way. way. Yes, yes. And so next week, then we are going to be talking to William Craig. Right. Yeah. For this okay. month. For this we're, month we're, only. Right. This month only. Yes. And then we'll switch it up a little bit. Okay. But yes. uh, this has just been so phenomenal. It has. Yes. And, it and has. I encourage each and every one of you, if you're not already watching us at MentorMe411.com, number one, you can watch us there. But yes. number two, go there if you're not there and scroll and look for Dr. Michelle. You know, just plug into connect her box, with connect with connect her, with her. <laughs> tell her what's going on with you, tell yes. her your life story, yes. and, and, and she, she Skypes. will, yes, she, 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 she's FaceTime, she's mm -hmm. doing it all, yes. mm -hmm. but she's going to help you become healthy from the inside yeah, out. Yes, yes. I wanna, can I plug this in real quick? Like, cause I'm just so well, you got like 30 seconds. Okay, what this is, is that? 30 seconds. This is Tracy's favorite. Okay. <laughs> this is a tongue scraper. And what the tongue scraper does is, like, see how eloquent she talks? Now, not that she does it. That when she, when she a tooth isn't broken. Talk. Exactly, and I'm not in but pain. But I introduced her to this because, you know what, when we talk about public speaking and speaking out to the public, the right. tongue has a tendency to get all tied up in the mouth. Right. You scrape the tongue. Scrape the tongue. Every day? It every lifts night? Off the, 12 times a day? Yeah. How many times? Okay, whatever. Before you get ready to do your public speaking piece, like okay. right now, scrape the tongue. Okay. Scrape the tongue. Lifts off the bacteria. Yes. Wow. yes. And it makes cool. it light. Mm -hmm. <laughs> More tips like that yep. next month. Okay. But until then, <laughs> yes. be safe, yes. be, healthy, be healthy, be blessed. Be blessed. Bye bye. Be back bye. next Sunday. <laughs> hey.